Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. Check it out. We have the Mavic 2 Flymore kit here, or the Flymore combo from DJI. If you missed my initial unboxing setup and updating of the Mavic 2 Pro, this is the Pro version here. Go ahead and check the link in the description. I'll have that video. I decided to kind of break them up. I did order this all together with this Flymore kit, but my video was running so long because I was having so much trouble getting this thing started on an Android phone. Finally, we got it working on the iPad with no problems whatsoever. So check out the video if you're frustrated on setting up your Mavic 2 Pro or Zoom. Check that out. They need to work out some bugs on Android. But anyway, this is all about the Mavic 2 Flymore kit. Let's dig into it and see what we got. Two extra batteries, a multi-charger, a lighter adapter, a little adapter for USB charging from the battery, four more propellers, and the carry bag. Okay guys, so like I said, I have not opened this up yet. I've been waiting for you guys to show you what it's all about. And so let's just dig into it. All it is, is this one white box, and everything is in this bag here, the Flymore bag, but, this little manual. So the bag itself is kind of looks like a faux leather. It's definitely not real leather, but it is a, a really nice. It's a little bit different than all of the other bags. It does look similar to the previous Mavic bag, but it's a little more, has a little more of a square footprint, I can tell right here. And it's kind of, instead of black, it's like a grayish color. So it's got a really nice look. It's got um, kind of a mesh elastic pocket here, latch for a shoulder strap. It's got a little pocket in the front that you can fit some thin things, wires or paperwork there. On this side, another mesh pocket, a loop again, and in the back, nothing whatsoever, no pockets or anything. So that might've been nice if they had one more pocket on the outside. Tissue paper to protect the handle. I'm gonna take this off right now. And it says Mavic 2. So a little bit of a special bag, specifically designed and engraved with the Mavic 2 insignia there. So kind of cool. Anyway, lifting up the front pouch, there are no pockets up here, just a Velcro, and we flip that over. It does feel very sturdy. It's got this kind of nylon material here, kind of woven into that faux leather, so it's feeling really good. And this is gonna be very water resistant. You see this lip on the front of the zipper. It's gonna be keeping most of the moisture out, so that's great. When we flip this up, now we have access to this front little pouch that I'm un unzipping also with that kind of sealed rubber lip that's gonna keep moisture and rain out. And there's our extra propellers. So we have a whole set of these extra propellers, and these are the new ones that come with the Mavic 2. A little bit different than the low noise, remember, for the Mavic Pro and the Platinum. So they are a little bit different. So we get that pouch, pretty good size pouch, and now let's unzip. The only other thing to do is unzip the top, the main, uh, pocket here on top. So we flip that open and we can immediately see we have a decusent silica pack here to soak up some moisture and we have a zipper into a mesh pocket that we can put all kinds of wires or small things, very low profile things, paperwork, whatever you want. And then looking down in the main pocket, here's what we got. So we have two boxes. There's one, there's two, and We've got something else on the bottom there, and it looks like that those are the batteries, actually. So let's see how this thing works. This is actually integrated and sewn in separators. Remember how they're usually Velcroed in? Uh, this is kind of a very stiff foam in here, so it's working as a separator. That's where we're gonna put our Mavic 2. And what I wanna know is how the heck are we getting to the batteries? It looks like we're pulling this up, perhaps see how that works yeah so look at that that's pretty cool that thing just like flips up and stays there um, due to pressure and we have two batteries with a piece of foam in between and the batteries really are they were just like set like this down in the bottom so these are the new 4s batteries they went away from 3s high voltage and they're now using 4s for more efficient electron flow anyway there is our shoulder strap again some tissue paper just gonna rip this off little sleeve and you know a nice uh, strap it's not black it's dark gray we have some faux leather here with some padding and it's just your basic nylon strap with some clips on each end to attach to the rings there on the bag 
There we go. And this looks like it is the charger. So let's see what this thing's all about. Car charger. So if we're on the road and we need to charge a battery, there you go. Anyway, that's all they're giving us in that box. Let's switch back over to this other box and on the top, these are those little adapters that you can adapt to your battery. I'm gonna show you how this works if you don't already know. So say you're on the road and I guess this is how they're mitigating to charge your controller. If you're on the road and you need to say charge your controller or another USB device, plug this into the bottom of the battery, just like so. And you can plug in up to two USB devices right in there. So say your phone and the controller, just make sure you have this fully charged. Anyways, a cool little adapter to give you a, like a power bank on the road that they include in the box. And there should be one more thing in here and I'm hoping it's a multi-charger and yes it is, great. Now that we have the Flymore kit, we've got three batteries. So we had one that came with the Mavic itself in the box and then of course we're getting two with this combo and we definitely wanna charge them, charge them all at once if we can. If you take this with you, um, you can just plug this in. So let's try that right now. If we just plug the car charger into there or the charger you got with the Mavic, your home charger, plug it into there and look what you got. You have a multi-charger. Doesn't look like it has any USB ports on it itself. So you're still gonna have to, if you do bring this mobile with you, you're still gonna have to use that little adapter and put it on a battery to charge anything USB and that goes for the controller as well. So it would have been nice maybe if there was a uh, USB plug-in somewhere on this thing to do that. There is a USB plug-in on the home power brick that uh, you get in the box with the regular drone itself. Anyway, that's it. And the way we can plug in the battery is really simple. And of course, you're gonna need to charge these once. They're not activated. You can see if I push the button, nothing's happening until you give it a charge. And all you're doing is you're just slipping these on. There's one. So we can charge up to four at the same time. There we go. So there's two and you can fit two more there. I do have one more that came with it so I can put that right there. Not sure if they're gonna charge three at, the, three at a time or one after the other. I haven't tried that yet. But either way, you don't have to worry about it. Just slap them on, plug it in and go on your way. Maybe you'll be flying and this will be plugged in to your car. You'll be charging these two while you're flying the other one for supposedly a half hour, up to 31 minutes. These are really tight in there and they're digging into the edge of the bag and I have to like really squish them down. I don't think two are gonna fit. Gosh, yeah, these aren't gonna go in. Are they? They're in there, but Look at the edge of the bag is just, look how, see how much pressure that is? It's making like a pressure warp and it's putting a lot of pressure on the belly of the drone too. There's a tag attached here. I'm gonna see if maybe they show a better way of putting this thing together. Here we go. Okay, so yanking this tag off and let's see what they show in their little graphic. Okay, so they're showing it a little differently than how it came. See how there's the top of the bag? They have the Mavic face down with its top towards the other pocket. And then they have only one battery on the bottom and they have one battery actually facing up. So this is different than how it came. It came with both batteries on the bottom side by side. Then the controller's on the other side. So they show one battery just all the way laying down in the bottom, just like that. And then they show this thing closing up. And the funny thing is there's quite a bit of room now on top of that battery, almost enough room to put something else in there. So maybe I'll just throw this little guy down in there and we'll close that. And then we have these two compartments and they are showing that we're having one battery here. And again, we have lots of room now. We have a lot of slack. Or this, so this battery could go either way, or it looks like we could possibly fit something else, but we're definitely not gonna fit um, this guy very comfortably. Yeah, that actually will fit, okay? So if you wanted to bring your multi-charger, you can put it in there, and then this will actually wrap up and fit in one of these mesh pockets quite easy because it's a little bit shorter. Then of course the controller it's showing is going right in here. And remember the control sticks on the Mavic 2 controller come off like the Mavic Air. So we just unscrew those, open this up. They do give you an extra set of these. So if you lose them, just be very careful when you're you know, out and about 
and trekking around you don't lose those things close that up and then here's how they're showing this thing's going in just like that everything does stick up quite a bit so let's see if we close it what our clearance is like yeah and it's fine we have plenty of clearance it's not pulling on the zipper at all and everything is in there nice and snug you can see how that's working great if you're out and about even if you have your batteries charged maybe just bring this with you your mobile charger since you're buying this Flymore combo you might as well have everything with you and shove this in here and that's what I'm looking for you see how that kind of uh, covers the top so there's no way it can really come out let's see how these clips work okay so they're just little push clips push in snap over and then of course we want the Mavic logo to be showing on the outside and then we just snap uh, the other side in just like that so we have our shoulder straps attached that's everything so it does all fit in the bag you just have to put one item on the outside which is the mobile charger to make everything fit in comfortably anyway guys i really hope you enjoyed that little side unboxing and demonstration of the flymore kit if you were to get this it's a, it's a couple more hundred dollars um, when you do order your mavic 2 but it's worth it because you save over a hundred dollars uh, if you were to buy all these things separate that this comes with the batteries are very expensive so you're saving on a bulk purchase with all this stuff and that's why i got it because i know i'm going to use it when i'm out and about and everything fits in this look how small it is it's small it's a shoulder bag it's no bigger than a small camera bag and you have your mavic 2 in here whether you get the zoom or the pro you're set with three batteries and of course you can buy another battery and you may be able to fit that other battery in somewhere I guess probably right here is the best place if you have four batteries put that battery right in here and you're set to go thanks for tuning in guys um, don't forget to subscribe like and click that notification bell so you can be informed on the flight test of this guy that's coming up next and also some range tests for the mavic 2 and some scenery uh, shots i live here on maui so we're gonna get some nice shoreline shots and stuff and don't forget if you are impressed with this and you want to check it out links as always in the description and i will see you guys in the flight test thanks for watching